Hey guys, welcome back to Let's Game It Out Satisfactory uh, play, play through reaction to shit. The shit. God, um, what the fuck else can he do? He's he's done that fucking spiral of death, which I saw in the next thumbnail after this is a fucking cone, which terrifies me. He made a fucking cocoon. <laughs> can he do yeah okay so this one's called i curled the game even more with a nightmare factory what the fuck else can he do what else what what else can he do i mean i guess i should probably talk, just stop talking and no no not that and Hey there, welcome Press back space. to Let's Game It Out. I am Josh, this is Satisfactory, where normal people make awesome streamlined factories. But <laughs> that's not what I'm going to be doing. Let's no, it never I'm is. Ready. I did this mess of a conveyor belt system. I also yeah, you did, did this that. even bigger mess of a conveyor belt <laughs> you system. You did that nightmare. You made this tornado. <laughs> you made that nightmare. We can't look right at it or our frame rate just dies. We have what is this frame rate, too? to unlock new kinds of equipment and gear. Last time we also found a wreckage site, which was kind of cool. So we have these hard drives that we can analyze, which we'll do at some point if I remember. And last we left off, we unlocked being able to use coal power, which is pretty cool because we right. can drill it, and then we can automate right. sending the coal straight to a power plant, which then powers the drill, which then keeps it going, so it's this perpetual powering machine. And we're kind of far away from home base, so we need to figure out how to get all this coal back. <laughs> I can, my sense we're going to use conveyor that, belts to uh, do it. So let's see what we've like got shit. some ideas here. Alright, we're going to find a way oh. to get this conveyor belt all the way down there. I'm just going to keep clicking until <laughs> I find a spot that works. There we go. There we go. While we work on That's getting the coal terrible. sorted out, Let's also make terrifying. sure to keep upgrading this guy. Terrible, now we're gonna upgrade the improved melee combat. That does allow us to buy this now. Let's go ahead and create That's that. That's good. Yeah, you did it. You did it. You did it. Oh, look at that, huh? Ooh, jeez. <laughs> Can't wait to beat up some wildlife with this thing. All right, so I've gone ahead and connected a conveyor belt here that goes ahead and sends this all the way home. Let me give you a uh, quick tour. It really couldn't be more simple. You know, you just follow this down. Uh -huh. We're gonna give it a nice. I, I'm already slowly. seeing. Maybe us, if there weren't at least a couple of turns, eventually okay. the goal is to on this lovely. Path. Pathway to what I'm scared. I like to call the oh my god! Interwoven no. masterpiece. Let's do a quick tour so we can see all of the features of the weave. First, the coal's gonna go through each and every one of these, and once it completes its journey, God knows how long that's gonna take. It's only on the second <laughs> little row. It's gotta go through all of this. Eventually, the coal reaches its landing point, which is right here, and then all. Oh the my god! This beautiful little conveyor belt, and then a nice standard bob and weave. Good. Lord, I do mean all the way home. We're gonna replace all of our biomass burners, which at this point I think we have like six or seven of them. We're gonna replace those with coal generators. So we need to create the splitting system so each one gets enough coal, no. also so we can separate coal and use it for other crafting. First things first is one conveyor splitter. Put that right about there, and we're actually gonna have a second one too, which we'll put a little further down here, and we'll connect this one first. We're gonna put another splitter right over here, face it out like that. Connect a conveyor belt from here to here and then we're going to set up three coal generators no. one and two uh, and three there no. we go. this conveyor belt to go no and we're just not normal great so each one of these guys is going to be able to get a little bit of power That's terrible so anyway the last thing on tier four that we can unlock is logistics mark three <laughs> which is going to require us to make motors which is somewhat Jesus more complex Christ. if we want to automate it we would need to take our rotors which are already being made and we also mm -hmm. need to connect them to staters to make uh, Stairs, we need to make steel pipes, and to make steel pipes, we just need steel ingots. Steel ingots are made with iron ore and coal. So pretty much we need to have a machine that's going to combine iron ore and coal. We're going to need a machine that takes those steel ingots and turns oh. into steel. And then that steel pipe is going to have to be fed into a machine that's also making wire to then make the stators. And then we're going to have to send the stators to the same place that's making our rotors. I don't, those I don't care how it's motors. done. So I just want to know how you're going to do it. Hard. We also have to give the space elevator some stuff, Why? including some motors. Know? as well as some modular frames. Modular oh, frames, yeah. we don't quite have 500 of, but it shouldn't be too hard to make. After all, to make modular frames, all we have to do is combine reinforced iron plate and iron rods, which we can also automate.
right. You know what I almost forgot like about? Those right. hard drives. Here, have a hard drive. Start analyzing that. Tell me something amazing. The analysis of the hard drive is completed. No new research is available. Try again later after further progress. Your NA has been returned to you. But then it offers me this stuff. It offers me like an alternate blueprint. How about this one? This looks good. Because we're going to need iron ore, which is he, currently he coming out here. Through. We're just going to use this little splitter right here and pull some of the iron ore out to use over on our other machine. Because this miner only pulls out this ore so fast, and then it's split three different ways, oh, which means none of them are really getting too. enough ore. We're going to upgrade this guy to a miner mark yeah, okay. two. First, yeah. we beam yeah. this guy out of existence. Now we put the new miner mark two right where it was. Now we reconnect the conveyor belt. Look at that. That's okay. much better. Like, it's not perfect, but at least everything's getting a little bit more. Oh my god, the coal it's finally showed up. Look at this. Oh, oh my god. So I timed it for the coal to oh, all the way from the beginning to the end. It takes three hours. We Holy shit! Starting side. Remember how I said the conveyor belt cyclone you can't look at without the frame rate dying? Well, we're running out of places to go where that's not <laughs> the case. Oh, there is a beautiful site. Not only do we have the conveyor belt, but we have the vortex in the background. Oh so my god! My computer isn't literally on fire right now. Look at my guy's hands. It's just two frames of animation going back and forth going, <laughs> ah, this seems like a good idea. Oh, <laughs> that's not terrible. Can we ride on this? Oh, yeah. Well, we're going to use this as our one frame per second tour vehicle. Well, to nobody's surprise, we're stuck. Oh, it's even recording. It should have fucking broken. Everything's getting plenty of power. Broken. Now, right here where the iron ore and the coal is coming out, we're going to put a foundry. Ta-da. And we'll connect that there. Connect that it's there. It's just monotone right. voice. It the machine makes everything better. Ingots. Yep, there they are. And now we're going to put a constructor right Plus here and run the foundry to the constructor and set this guy to make steel pipe. And for now, we're going to have our steel pipe this just go into so one of these storage containers. In order to make the stators, we need to combine those pipes with wire, which is why oh. we're back over here here, where we're going to run a conveyor belt all the way over to where it was. This uh, game really wants you to do stuff vertically, which I totally get, but I like the idea of just making something as messy as possible. If it works, it works, right? So now we have our copper wire <laughs> on its way. Now we're going to throw down an assembler. Looks beautiful, as always. Crissy crossy the conveyor belts like that. Not a prerequisite, well, at least not for most. For well. me, it is. Watch as the pipes and the wires crisscross all excitedly, and we're going to tell this machine to make stators. And there they are. Would you look at that? And the last glorious step for making motors oh. with the machine that's making our rotors. So this container here has our rotors. We'll just run it over here. Oh yeah, rotors, come on down. So now we've got the rotors and the stators right next to each other. We've got uh -huh. to put the one thing into the hole for the other thing, which is going to uh -huh. have yet another assembler right there. <laughs> yep. Little crissy crossy later. Everything's going uh -huh. into the places where they're supposed to go. We'll straight. set this machine to make motors. And there you we go. Got got motors got coming. Straight. We made a motor, baby. And they'll just collect in there. Got. 500 million zillion of them. And the whole thing is automated. Uh, we don't have to do a thing. Uh, this will pretty much just go forever. There is another machine we need to make that will automatically make these frames, which is reinforced iron plate and iron rods. That's we're going to do iron. something similar like we just did. We're going to go over where we have our iron rods coming out. We're going to split it out. We're going to have it aim next to the thing that's making it's... the enforced plating. So way over here, we have our reinforced iron plate, and this is the wildly convoluted place where we have a bunch of rods coming in and out of nowhere. So we're just going <laughs> to split off from here, and as always, put an assembler back here. There we go. So we've got reinforced plating coming out there. We've got rods coming out there. We've got this beautiful cyclone in the background, God, as always. Stop. And yes, I know I could have had this all go in a straight line, but where's the fun in that? Now we're going to tell this thing to make modular frames. We're going to put another storage container up here that we're going to feed everything back into. Can't have it getting too far away from me. I don't want to run a marathon God, just damn. to find all my supplies. We now have enough stuff to unlock logistics. Yeah, he's got Mark so 3. Oh, at least be faster. That. One, two, three, launch. Pretty exciting. Sure that three hour would be but reduced to like because we have conveyor belt Ooh, mark three. Our... Conveyor belt mark one transports 60 resources per minute, but mark three does a blazing 270. You know what? These coal plants are so awesome, and I have so much Do extra coal. I'm going to go ahead and build three more plants right behind it. Let's put it right about there, and there, and there. And I'm going to remove this guy uh... here, and I'm going to have one splitter here, and then those splitters are going to split to there. This one will go like that. I'm and scared. Like that. So I've added a splitter here. And one side goes over here, splits three ways, no. goes to these no. guys. And this one will head into the back here, where there's going to be another splitter, and split three ways, going into the three machines back here. Now that we have all the coal power plants that take care of themselves, we can get rid of these biomass burners, because they require us to keep refilling them, and we don't need to deal with that anymore. So I feel like one of my choke points is how quickly the screws can come out of this machine. I kind of want to see what happens if we replace this conveyor belt with the Mark III. So let's get rid of the Mark I. Let's connect the Mark 3. 
I, I guess, yeah, they <laughs> come out oh, real fucking fast. Oh my god. Wow, that's not screwing around. All right, you get with the times. You're slowing everything down here. I mean, how much is... <laughs> I can't even run up these conveyor belts now. They just pull you down. That's fantastic. While we wait... You got, like, side guards, to make too. everything the proper color. All we're really waiting on right now is to gather as much <laughs> stuff as we need to shove it into the space elevator. But that's no excuse to not have everything be color coordinated. What about you? Can I color you? No? You'll be back. Oh boy, the time has finally come. Took a little while, but we got our 500 modular frames and our 150 motors. Oh, let's just damn. pile all this crap in here and see what happens. All right, we got all of our supplies in. Now let's go from load to uh, seal. There it goes. Okay, is it secure now? Can I send it? Okay. Send it. Bye. Have fun oh. in space. Let me know if you can see the vortex from there. All right, well, that felt good. What Probably. Now? Unavailable and early access, damn it. So launching that stuff into orbit. Not has anymore. New tiers, which gives us some pretty exciting new stuff. My god. Wow, this gets real. And an even bigger truck. Oh god, another oh, truck. Oh my god, and a Mark IV conveyor belt. <laughs> well, and oh my god, a jetpack. Well, that's been a lot of fun. I've got some ideas for how we can top the weave. So thanks for watching. No. Head on back for more satisfactory soon, and I will see you next time. Okay, again, as always. What the fuck? <laughs> Like, the fucking... Okay, the vortex was already one thing, but that, uh, fucking weave... Where is it? 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 The fucking... Weave? Holy shit! Is that thing enormous? And it took three hours. Are those Mark 1s or are they Mark 2s? I think they're Mark 1s. They also got a bunch of storage containers in the back. Which I guess... Because there's also still a bunch of different little storage uh, crates around. From probably when he was trying to do it. And messing up, but didn't have the space in his inventory. I assume what was in those crates is just a shit ton of iron plates. And rods. And wire. And he just went over there, grabbed it, and continued working on this thing. God damn. The amount of time he spends on this shit. Like, this would be five days worth of recording for me. Just to build this one thing. And then I wouldn't know how to cut it. Like... He's a fucking master of editing, along with Maxor, which I do need to, well, I've seen all of this shit, so, kind of pointless to try to react to any of that. God damn. It's so, so bad, but so good. God. How does it, I assume, I assume it's like, it goes down and then it comes across and it goes down. Or does it go down? How does this weave work? I, I don't know how this weave exact. Oh yeah, no, it, it goes across and then across and then across, 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 and then it comes back around and somewhere it leads off. God damn, dude, that's too much. That's too fucking much. Oh well. I wonder what he's gonna do with nuclear power. It's gonna be nuts. Anyway, have a good day or night, and I will see you later. Bye bye.